Hello, how you doing? How you been? So today, this haul, I'm going to be getting more into like the jewelry and the decor that I've thrifted these past couple trips. Like to be honest, I just got the trips all mixed up at this point. Mainly, we're going to get into the stuff that I got from the Brass Armadillo Antique Mall and then also from Desert Industries. So, the Brass Armadillo, after the book fair, that same day while we were still in Arizona, we went to Brass Armadillo and then we went to another store after that. And then the stuff that I got from Deseret was like two days after that. We like came back from Arizona and then we went up to Sacramento to get my tattoo. And that's when I got this stuff from Deseret. So we're going to start with Brass Armadillo first and then move on to Deseret. So for this first item, that whole trip, I was just like slabbergasted because I was like, this hobby is meant for me because literally every turner, like every turner, woo, every corner I turned when I was at the Brass Armadillo, there was literally like one of these like hidden in one of the cases. It was kind of like a Where's Waldo moment. And I was just like, obviously I could point them out because I'm really into getting into this hobby. But let me just show you what I'm talking about because... If you, if you watch that vlog, then you'll know what I'm talking about. But if you didn't, this is what I'm talking about. So, these this this one right here. This is, if, for those who don't know, this is a French beaded flower. Well, I don't know if this one specifically, because the ones that I'm trying to get into is not like where the petals are shaped. Like the beads aren't shaped like petals. They're actually like just regular small beads and you like form all the little beads into an actual petal so this one's a little different from the one i'm trying to get into but i still took this as this is my hobby this is for me because how i ain't never seen these things in my life then i watch one tiktok video get hooked on it and now all of a sudden i go to arizona and there's like 20 of these just sprinkled here and there around and it was there was one that i actually got in i think it was pleasanton or Dublin. this is the first one that i came across and ended up getting this was ten dollars this was guess how much just guess just guess eleven dollars so this was just literally one dollar more than this one they're about the same size this one's just like you know obviously different design different pops they still have they both still have pretty cool pops to them, but there was another one. Oh, I wanted to get it so bad. It was so cute. I'll put like a screenshot right here, but I ended up not getting it because they wanted $50 for it and they were about the same size. So I'm like, yeah, no, I'm going to get the cheaper one. Plus, I didn't like what they named it. I wasn't feeling that, so I was like, yeah, no, I'm good. But anyway, all that to say, like, I'm really excited about getting into this hobby. And I'm just so glad that I ran across so many things that will, like, encourage me. Like, I'm going to use these as my inspiration as I'm doing it myself, you know, and just have them, like, put up around the apartment I'm just taking this as my sign, like this is the hobby for me. And I said that too in the in the vlog. So like I wholeheartedly believe this is this hobby is for me. So this time around I told myself I wasn't gonna get any regular earrings just because I noticed that the ones that I do have that are regular earrings, I don't wear them at all. And there's like maybe two or three that I actually do wear, but you know my ears be toe up after that, so I told myself only clip on earrings this time around. Now, did I stick to that? We about to find out. So the first ones I got were these cute little wooden ones. I actually have these one like really big wooden earrings that I love, but they're not clip ons. 
I might try to figure out how to turn them into clip-ons, but uh, we'll see. These ones, I actually think these were probably like a part of like doorknobs for like a dresser or something. And then they just turn them into earrings. So I thought that was pretty cute. And then these next ones is another pair of clip-ons. And these ones, I just really like the color combo on them. And they actually like are like door knockers. Like you can move move this part up and down. So I thought that was cute. I do actually have quite a few clothing items that have this color combo. So I thought these would be like a good addition to wear with those specific clothes. I found out I'm more into gold. Gold looks better on me than silver does. So I got these really cute gold earrings. Um, these are clip-ons too. And they're like just cute little bamboo rings that are sh like put together and shaped into like a little flower. I think that's just so cute. I just got some more clip-ons and they're just regular bamboo hoops. And definitely will be wearing those a lot in the summer. My last ones. I had to get these. They are not clip-ons. When the lie detector test determined, that was a lie. <laughs> But hear me out, hear me out. I feel like I can turn these into clip-ons. All I gotta do is like break the, the back off and then hot glue um, some little clip-on things. Cause that's what they did with these ones. They just got some glue and glued the little clip-on things to them. So with these ones, I feel like I can definitely do that, especially since this part is pretty flat. So instead of it like hanging off my ear a little bit, it'll actually just be on my ear. And I just could not let this one go because it's just so interesting, so cool. Like the different shapes and then the little black and white dots. And it's just like the, I don't know if this is like trying to imitate wood or like what. But I just thought these were just too cute to pass up, so I ended up getting them anyway. But for the most part, I did stick to, you know, getting mainly clip-ons. These are the only ones that I got that were actual earrings. So this next bag, this is more the, like, waist beads and the necklaces. For jewelry, what I realized is I'm more into, like, earrings, rings, waist beads for sure and necklaces sometimes but i just really i just can't do bracelets like i don't know why but bracelets just don't do it for me i'm gonna call it a waist bead because i i'm not gonna wear this as a necklace that's for sure but just like look at it like the squares the circles and then i love like the like i don't know if this is like a burgundy but like the, the subtle red and the yellow tones in it is just so cute. And it's gold. I just feel like this will definitely go with quite a bit of the clothes. This actually kind of matches my outfit that I'm wearing right now. Which is crazy. The second one is, I think this is a necklace. I think you can like turn it into a necklace and then you can also turn it into waist beads. But it's just this cute little like brown, like it has wooden pieces and little marble pieces and then like gold this kind of goes with my outfit too today i'm really like into these chain belts so i feel like this this whole like 2024 just prepare to be sick of me wearing chain belts with almost all my outfits because this is a necklace but just look how cool it is like it has like these metal pieces and then like these this kind of feels like a weird like not really wood but I don't know I don't know what that material is to me these are like pretty much neutral pieces so that was pretty much it for all of the jewelry and then the next store that we went to after was just like the beauty supply and I just had to restock up on my like African soap Unfortunately, they only had two of these. I still have four, so hopefully that will, you know, 
last me through the rest of this year. That's pretty much it for um, the Brass Armadillo Antique Mall. So now we're gonna get into Deseret. Most of like the stuff that I got from Deseret, besides clothes, was just a lot of like vases. And I got these because when I start doing, you know, the French beaded flowers, I need some vases to put them in. So I got this cute little silver one and it just has like an interesting like symbol on it. I just really like the shape that it has at the top and that kind of does like almost like a teardrop shape. So yeah, I got this. This is a potential as a gift for one of my sisters when I make her flowers. And then the next one that I got was is this cute little pale yellow one and i feel like when you flip it upside down it kind of reminds me of like a, a hermit crab shell almost and i got this one i'm feeling like the flower that i put in it would be something kind of similar to this like wouldn't that be cute just like bigger size so yeah got that This one was more, one of my more interesting ones. I feel like the flower that I put in this one will have to be like more of like a basic flower just because it has, you know, these interesting flowers on it already. And this interesting detail is very texturized, as you can see. And so, I don't know, maybe like one or two flowers would fit in it. I feel like maybe I could just do like a flower similar to this one, but I don't know, we'll see. This one is the tiniest one, but it's the cutest. Like this one just reminds me of like the seashore where like the waves just pulling in, like coming in onto the shore and then like the sand. I just thought this was so cute and it's super cute on the inside too. And so this one would be more like for flowers, you know, shaped like this. Not this specific design, but the size. These last two, now I got these for my future home. And they're gonna go in my library room. This is basically what they look like. This is the bigger one. This one, hopefully this like marker comes off. But if not, I'll just have to, you know, put that one facing the wall and have a face like this. But I just thought these were so cute. I love the colors on them. They kind of match like my, cause those, that picture with the pink and the cacti on it, that one's definitely going in my library room too. So I got this one and it has like these little yellow paintings and it's kind of giving like cow lilies. For this one, you can't really tell, but for the, for this thinner one, you can definitely tell, like, don't these kind of look like calla lilies right here. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited for these, like, to, to be put in my library room when I do get that eventually. But for right now, I don't know where I'm going to put these. But that is pretty much it for, like, the haul of all of the, you know, decor and jewelry that I got from both Deseret and Brass Armadillo. And I'm pretty excited to start my new hobby. So stay tuned for that and I will see you in the next one.